Ladies and gentlemen, the Indianapolis Colts are in a terrible position right now. They are 4-6-1 and one at the time of this recording, and they are just overall a complete dumpster fire at the moment. So I'm going to talk about how Jim Irsay and Chris Ballard can turn around this franchise. Now, they're going to need a new head coach. I love Jeff Saturday. I'm sure most Colts fans do, but I feel like for the long term, he's not quite their guy. So I think a guy they should go for is Bill's offensive coordinator, Ken Dorsey. Now, Ken Dorsey was the former quarterback at Miami University of Florida, and he was pretty good there. He was in the NFL for a couple years as a journeyman, and now he is in the NFL as an offensive coordinator for the Bills. From 2013 to 2018, he was the Carolina Panthers quarterback coach. And from 2018 to 2022, he was the Bills quarterback coach, and he helped develop Josh Allen. And the Colts, they need to draft a rookie quarterback in the first round this year. So Ken Dorsey, who is a quarterback guru, would be perfect for this job. Now, the Colts are also going to need a new offensive coordinator as Chris Ballard fired Marcus Brady, their former offensive coordinator, earlier this year. So I think a guy they should go for is an in-house hiring. I think the perfect guy would be Parks Frazier, who is their current play caller right now for the rest of the season. I think he's done a great job. He did a great job in the Raiders game, and he also did a pretty good job in the Philly game. So I think Parks Frazier, even though it's a very small sample size, I think they should give the young guy a shot at being the offensive coordinator of this team. Another option would be Reggie Wayne. The wide receivers coach who of course one of the greatest wide receivers of all time but i feel like that would be more for fanfare now the colts need to draft a quarterback in the first round i think the perfect guy would be anthony richardson from florida now anthony richardson the stats don't look too flashy only 13 touchdowns to seven interceptions but if you watch the games you'll see that the reason why he doesn't have the flashy stats is because one Florida is a very run-heavy team, obviously, but also what's impressive is that a whole lot of their run game workload falls on him. He actually has nine total rushing touchdowns this year, which is absolutely insane. Anthony Richardson, if you watch the games, you'll see he has great pocket awareness, an absolute cannon for an arm, great scrambling ability, and he can scan the field very well. I think if he's put in the right situation, especially a quarterback-friendly offense and a quarterback-friendly team like Ken Dorsey, I think Anthony Richardson will develop into a great quarterback in this league, and he would be perfect with Ken Dorsey, and he'd be perfect for the Colts. The Colts need a better offensive line. Their offensive line has been terrible this year. I think in the free agency market, they can help fix that by getting Orlando Brown at left tackle. Orlando Brown is a top three lineman, I would say, in the league right now. Maybe top five, but still, Orlando Brown, give him a huge contract. The Colts can do it, and I think it would be great for them to put him at left tackle. Another option would be Jordan Pugh, who's coming off a torn ACL. Putting him at one at the right guard would be a huge upgrade over Will Fries. And I think this would really solidify the Colts' offensive line as being really just one of the best units in the NFL like they used to be. Of course, right now they have Bernhardt Raymond starting at left tackle, and although he's just a rookie, he's really struggled with penalties and holding calls and really all of that. So that has been a huge issue. I think the Colts just need a couple more pieces on that O-line to help fix it. Now, I've been really impressed with the Colts' defense so far this year. I think they only really need another corner, and I think the perfect guy would be Joey Porter Jr. from Penn State. Get him in the second round. They have him going late first, maybe trade up for him, but if you can get him in the second round, that would be great. Now, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I think the Colts are actually set at wide receiver, and what I mean by that is that Michael Pittman Jr. is an absolute stud, one of the best young receivers in the league. Alec Pierce has been really he slept on this year he has been one of the best rookie receivers this year and Paris Campbell he's finally healthy and he's actually been balling out and he's been great in the slot he has been great for checkdowns 
So I think if you can keep those three guys healthy, then the Colts are actually in a really good position at wide receiver. You just need those three guys to develop because they're all very young. Now what to do with Matt Ryan? Now the Matt Ryan situation is a bit interesting because the Colts, they could trade him, but no team will really want to trade for a 38 year old quarterback coming off a terrible year. But they could cut him, but it would create a lot of dead cap. So what the Colts should do with Matt Ryan is actually keep him and have him mentor Anthony Richardson for four games, have him start four games, and then have Anthony Richardson come in. I think he'd be a great mentor for Anthony Richardson. And if Matt Ryan has good protection, as we've seen this year, he can actually be pretty good. So maybe he can help the Colts win some games next year. Now, in conclusion, I think if the Colts were to make these moves, it would turn them into a contender within the next few years. But at the same time, are they really going to do all this? Probably not. But still, it's fun to think about, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.